Hey everyone, uh, we're gonna extend the, uh, the discount on the classroom training that we're offering. So please check it out. If you like uh, getting into a classroom setting, learning about Business Central, going through all the things that we're going through in the YouTube, uh, but it's gonna be more back and forth. So interested in that, please go on there, check it out, sign up and, uh, and enjoy learning about business central so one more week uh it's the discount of the smallet so anyways on that back to costing yay i got a comment so I'm, I'm really liking that people are getting into this costing i thought i had lost everyone by this time you know we're up to 10 videos on the same topic so i i thought we didn't have that many left uh watching but there are really hardcore costing people out there that are following and commenting so Thanks for that. And one comment came from Stefan, uh, and we're going to basically do a video about what he talked about in the comment. So there's uh, two things that are important. First of all, uh, in the FIFO, when we're posting in FIFO, we basically have the coffee mug, uh, the FIFO coffee mug. Um, and, and we're posting entries. So these are the item ledger entries on there and then each entry here has entries uh, and those are called uh, value entries so each one of the item ledger entries has value entries whoops here it could be many right so and and the item ledger entry is basically telling you the quantities that are moving so as you're buying, the quantities increase, and as you're selling, the quantities decrease. But the value entries are telling you the cost of those quantities. So for example, if you have a purchase order here, so this is a purchase for 50, uh, the direct cost could have been like $1,000. And then you might have had freight come in, and you wanted to add the freight through item charge onto this transaction, which could have been $100. So hundred dollars comes in the value entry and now the total cost for this purchase here is eleven hundred this could have happened at a different date so the value entries are very important in describing the cost of the actual transaction now when we do FIFO and uh, we're just doing basic FIFO and let me just clean this out there is a quirky thing that happens with business central very quirky uh, and basically what what goes on is if you have a purchase order here for um let's say it's a uh, hundred and and uh <clears throat> and basically you you post post it at a thousand right and then you have another purchase order and this is uh this is our example for a hundred and you post it at eleven hundred right and total so the unit cost here is 10 and the unit cost is here is 10.5 oops uh, i'm sorry 11. silly me but the average is 10.5 right so the average here is 10.5 so when we post a sale right here for 50, and, and this is FIFO, remember FIFO, first in, first out, it should take the cost from here, so it should be $500. And it does do that because it takes it from the first one. But what happens in the value entries is not 500. What happens in the value entries is it actually posts the average first which I believe is 525, and then an adjustment of negative 25, bringing it down to 500. So the sum of these is 500. So it does, this is the sort of the direct cost and then adjustment. And it's funky. It's posting average and then fixing it to become a FIFO. It's just the way it is. Um, so that is one thing we're going to show you in the system. The second thing is that you can actually, so this applies to that transaction, right? And that's why it's 500. You can 
come into the system after all these posts and say, take away this application and apply it to this one because I want to. And you can use something called an application worksheet to do that. Now, that is a li little bit deep, but since Stefan brought it up, I wanted to show it. Um, it's used for extreme use circumstances and it can really mess up your system if you do too much of it, so use it with care. Um, but, but interesting, super interesting. So enjoy, let's take a look at the application. Okay, so let's take a look at the, uh, the application for this. If I go into my items and look for the FIFO coffee mug, where did I go? Right here. Uh, the point that was made is that if I go into navigate history entries, ledger entries, I, I haven't spoken a lot about this, but we have the item ledger entries and underneath the item ledger entries, we have value entries. And the value entries are what make up the cost. So, so the item ledger entries are following the quantities and the value entries are giving us the cost. And the value entries, basically the sum of all value entries makes up the cost amount here. So if I drill into this cost, actually I'm gonna go into the 500. I can see that we have two value entries here. One is for uh, $525, and the other one is for $25 positive. So $525 negative and a $25 positive, which sums up to be 500. And the second one here is an adjustment. So it actually is adjusting the cost. It posts um, the 525, and since that doesn't really apply to FIFO, because FIFO would be 500, because we are taking out of um, out of this one here, which is 1,000, we, uh, we're taking 50, so it should be 500. But it posts 525, which is average, and then it fixes it with an adjustment, 25, taking it into FIFO. So technically the system is posting average and then fixing it with cost adjust to become FIFO. So it's an important note that's also behavior of Business Central. Um, you might be surprised that you get this adjustment in here uh, and why? What's, what's that all about? Basically the system is kind of fixing itself into uh, a FIFO scenario. Another point which was made, is this great, and thanks for the comments again, um, was that you can overwrite um, the way the system is making applications. So, and, and it's a bit hairy uh, when you try to do that. Uh, you know, you can get into sort of a little bit of a craziness, but I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Uh, so you can see here that this 50 is applied to the 100 first here. And then this 100 right here is taking the rest of the 100 and then 50 here. So you're sitting with 50. Let's say, for example, that we wanted this 50 here to come out of this uh, and not this. So we wanted it to take out the, uh, the 50 that are here. And I want to do that manually. I want to change the way the system is applying. So it will technically not be FIFO. It will be my manual application scenario of this. And this is like getting a little bit deep, but um, let's just take a look at that. So we can go into something called the application worksheet. Um, the application worksheet has to do with inventory. And it's, uh, it's uh, a pretty neat little thing. So if I go into the item here, filter on my FIFO mark, so let me see. So where is that right here? And then I get all of the entries for um, that, just like we saw before. And I can actually then go into navigate uh, into the value entries. So I'm actually going to take a look at this one here because I want to open that up. Uh, let me see. No, that's uh, um, no, that's not true. This one here. 
Um, I want to, no, the shipment. I want to change this shipment from taking from the first one here to taking from the second one. That's right. So basically increase the cost of this. Uh, okay, so here I go into navigate entry uh, value entries. And I can see that this has been applied already. And so I'm just going to go ahead and select both here. And let me just see more options now. Uh, entry. Let me see where was it? Not here. Uh, actually, I have to probably do it from here. So let me just go ahead and entry. Um, value entries and what I'm looking for actually here is that I can open them up uh, or unapply them. Let me see action function here I can reapply or but uh, be oh here we go. <laughs> This took a while. Okay, so uh, basically I want to go into the sale right here, go into navigate, view, applied entries. What is applied to this? And that's the purchase. I uh, apologize for this little navigational error, but anyways. Um, so, so I went into the shipment of these 50 here behind and I asked what is applied to that and I see that this is this purchase receipt and that's for 1000. So I'm looking at the applied entry to this particular entry here. What I want to do is remove that application. And now it goes. So if I go back here, I can see that um, the remaining quantity of this first one right here is 50. And the remaining quantity of the shipment is minus 50. So they're open. And, uh, and so what I want to do is go ahead and apply. So I can go ahead and uh, view the unapplied entries, which are these two. And let me just see if I can do it like this. So that's those are that are available to apply, um, which is and I want to actually put it to the second one. That is my goal. And let's see if that worked. So yeah, now it closed out. And now the remaining amount is on the first one. So, so technically, if I close this out, I just go ahead and hit reapply. And everything just goes through. Now I should be able to go into my item ledger entries, this one. Let me just refresh this so I get the latest version. And I can see that this sale for 50 is now $550. So this is a FIFO item, okay? And we got first in for 1000, then we got second in for 1100. So, and then we shipped out, and the first shipment going out was 50, should have gone out of this one at 500. But I reapplied it using the application worksheet. And I applied it to the second one, which now the cost is 550 and I have a remaining balance out of the first one, which is 50. So I can overwrite the application method, uh, which is insane, but cool. <laughs> so if I click in here, I probably get like a bunch of entries. Yep. So in the beginning, uh, it booked it on average and fixed itself like we talked about before. Then I reapplied it to the first one. So there was another adjustment to fix it down to 500. And that's, this is really cool because this shows you sort of the history of the applications of that item. Um, but I don't recommend going into craziness with items like this. Uh, this gets a bit hairy uh, when, you, when you work with it too much. But like if you have a critical thing that happens, like you post something at a really wrong cost and you have to reverse it, you got to reopen and do things like that, then it's helpful. Um, so I hope this was instructional. Until next time.